We are going to make a sandwich. Now, yeah, this seems really strange for me, doesn't it? I don't suppose you've ever seen me do this before. But I've got a little gadget that's going to help me make a sandwich. I fancy a cheese and ham toasty. Now, I'm going to do it in my toaster. Yep, I know you're saying to me, you can't put cheese in a toaster, it's going to drip out the bottom, it's going to kill the toaster. Yeah, you're right, it is. So I've got something that'll help me do it. I'll be right back. See this thing? This is a crimpit. What's a crimpit? A crimpit is this little thing in this box. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to show you how to make the perfect cheese and ham toasty. Yep, I'm going to cook. So I've got my coffee. It's actually a chococino. I've got a chocolate coffee. Mm. I've got my cheese, I've got my ham, I've got my little square breads, and I've got some sweet chili sauce. First thing I've got to do is just grate some cheese just to get us going. So I'm not going to bore you with that. Mm. I'm not going to bore you with that. I'll just get it done quick. Got to chop up the ham. And I'm allowed to play with the knives. This is where it gets a little bit more interesting. This, this is your crimpit. It says so, because it says so on the front. You get a two piece crimping kit, which is pretty cool. So we start off with our base, and I've never, I'm gonna promise you this, I have never ever <laughs> used this before. Okay, so we start off our base, and we get our lovely little flatbread out. And we put our little flatbread in the base, like so. Okay, we're gonna put a bit of cheese in the bottom because it is cheese grommet, isn't it? Bit of cheese in the bottom, then we're gonna chuck some ham in there, like so. Little bit of ham, little bit of ham, one more. And then we're gonna put in a bit more cheese. I'm gonna make a mess while I'm doing this. Okay, now, I reckon you're all thinking it's gonna make a mess. It's gonna make a mess. He's gonna break the toaster. His wife's gonna kill him. A little dash of the old uh, sweet chili. Not a lot, just enough to give it a tang. Okay, and then we take, <laughs> this is really the first time I've done this. <laughs> then you take the crimper Oh, no, you don't. No, you don't. No, you don't. You've got to put the top on. I bet you lot were laughing at me then. You put the top on, then you take the crimper, and you basically push this into the crimper. Okay? Seen that? I'm pushing it in the crimper. Now, I will tell you this much. If you go onto the Crimpit website, you will get lots of different recipes for this. And then we just lift this out. Look at this. Look at this perfect little crimped up packet sandwich. And now I'm going to put that in my toaster carefully so it doesn't fall out the bottom. I'm going to put it on and then I'm going to see how well this cooks my cheese and ham toasty. Oh, I can't wait. Here we go. Just put it in the middle there. Pop her down. And she's set for about, oh, I don't know, six minutes. I'm not sure if that's too long, but we'll see. <laughs> when it pops out, we'll see.
Okay, so it's out. Let's uh, let's cut it open and have a look. Look at that stringy melted cheese, <laughs> and not a drop in the toaster. Mmm. Oh yeah. I'm a chef. Mm. I've got to say that I recommend one of these. How can you make that in a toaster without one of these? Now, I've got a camper van and what I'd like to do is I'd like to make a cheese and bean toasty. And I've got a ridge monkey, and I reckon a cheese and bean toasty in a ridge monkey mm, would be perfect. So I may just have to try it out in the camper van. So, not the easiest position to be in, but uh, we've got everything here we need, just about. So, let me just get this out of here. This is me keep clean map where I'm going to put uh, everything to, to, to do. Got me crimp it. The inevitable ridge monkey. This is one of the best things ever, ever had for the van. So the ridge monkey goes there and we should be able to switch the gas on. So, so we have got bread part one. That goes in the bottom there like that and you can actually push it down inside the little crimpit pot to make a little bowl out of it. We're going to add some beans and I'm doing this very, very rough. Oh, I've just made a mess all over me clean cooker. I've got a spoon with me, so I'm just going to spoon, spoon some beans in. I'm not trying not to tip them everywhere and make a complete mess. I'm so interested to see how this comes out. So beans in the middle of the old crimpit pot. Okay. And then we've got cheese, more cheese, grommet, more cheese. And cheese goes in like that. This is such an experiment. Our little square bread top goes on, and then we've got a crimp it. And what I'm just going to do is just put it on the worktop because it saves me pushing it down on my little shelf. So <laughs> I'm going to crimp this one tight. There's my little crimp it. It. There's my little perfect packet. Look at that. How fantastic is that? I'm going to put that in the Ridge Monkey. I'm going to turn the old gas on and she's alive. I'll put the top down. And what this Ridge Monkey does is it keeps all the heat on the inside. It's absolutely brilliant for cooking in the van. Absolutely brilliant. This is basically what you get in your crimp it. You see this? You've got these little ridges and these little ridges there. And those ridges lock into them and they basically squeeze all the edges together and that's how it works to keep all your food inside right this is going to take a little while to um, warm up once it is i'll switch you back on and see what it looks like if you've not actually seen my review on the ridge monkey i'll put a link up somewhere in these corners so you can have a look at it because these things are amazing you can cook so much in them and then once it's warmed up do your bacon eggs you can flip it over no mess anywhere absolutely brilliant absolutely brilliant really is so yeah I've been uh, flipping it over turning it over a couple of times just to check and see how well it's doing and uh, yeah it's um, definitely crisping up and uh, this is a nice clean way of of cooking because everything's in there in there save some washing up that will and it is a bit of an experiment I'm, I almost know this is going to be okay, but you know, it is an experiment. I've got the door open, it's blowing the wind all over the place, so my gas is flickering around. Yeah, this is this is fun. I am actually sat outside my house in the van. Any neighbours walk past are going to think I'm absolutely cuckoo. It's like watching paint dry. So we'll just have a quick look and see what it's doing. Oh, it's looking good. I'll just warm up this side. I don't know which side the cheese is on now, so 
hopefully the cheese will be melted and the beans will be nice and warm. So like I said, this is a bit of a daft experiment. I'm just playing, I'm having a bit of a laugh with the old crimpet, but this is a brilliant little sandwich maker. Um, if you go on their website, I did mention before, if you go on their website, they've actually got recipes that you can try. So you can cut up your, your, your not your vegetables, your, um, you know the lettuce stuff, greens and carrots and things. Yeah, that stuff. Uh, salad, that's what I was thinking. Just cut up your salad, put it in, put your cheese in your hams, different things, chicken or whatever, crimp it up, and you've got yourself a nice little sandwich. So absolutely cracking. I think these are 12.95. So uh, yeah, they're not overly dear either. I'd like another one. I might have a word of them, see if they'll send me two. Then I can have, uh, I can have two on the go at the same time. Use a bigger ridge monkey. I've got a bigger one. I've got a bigger ridge monkey. This is the extra large, so you can have two on the go in there. Right, I'm gonna call that it. I'm gonna turn that off, and uh, I'm just gonna cut it open and see what it comes out like. Oh, can you hear that, that crust? Doesn't that sound good? Oh. Right, let's put it on there. This is nice and clean. Bit of a wipe down with a steri, and that's it, job done. Let's cut this open and oh, the beans are just bursting out the top. Right, here we go. This is our bean and cheese toasty. Look at that. Mm. Absolutely perfect. <laughs> Game changer. Mm. Thumbs up, like and subscribe. Oh, amazing. One thing it needs. So I'm going to invent a little rack so I can keep my beans upright when it's in the, on the plate. Mm. Ciao for now. Bye-bye. Oh, wow.